Okay, right. Part of the art of actually displaying uh, good dahlias is obviously the process of selection and actually preparing for this for the actual show itself. And you can prepare actually in advance by maybe a week to ten days. You can pick a dahlia like this one here. Uh, and you can see it's got two side buds on there and you've got a main bud. I would just wipe those two off like that there and allow that to develop. Uh, making sure there's nothing down on the side shoots as well down here. Just pull those off and just let that develop. Now that maybe 10 days, 10 days to two weeks. Depends how much sun you get and you could end up with a good quality dahlia there. So the art is to go around and actually prepare your flowers. But once you've you, you, you think you're there with the flowers, you can select your flowers. Now, here's a poor example, really poor example. You can see the, the heart's opened here, it's exposed, the bees in there, it's beginning to wither. It's useless. You may as well just put that one straight in the bin, okay? And then, of course, you've got one like this, which looks, on the face of it, really good, but, of course, I haven't prepared this properly, and I've got another one here. Breaks my heart to do this, but that's your only alternative. You've got to get rid of that. And then, of course, give yourself a decent amount of stem and then turn it upside down. Dahlia's are notorious for the fluids leaking out of here. And if you, if you don't turn it upside down straight away, you'll find your flowers won't last very long at all. So the art now is to find, if it's a, a, an exhibition of three flowers, to find three like that. Now, at this time of year, my dahlias aren't exactly all out yet. That might be quite difficult, but we'll have a go and we'll see what we can come up with. There's number two, but again, it's got a side shoot because I didn't prepare this. Just get rid of it. As I say, it breaks your heart doing it, but it's gone. And then you go around just looking for other ones. Yeah, three good flowers I've got actually there. I'm quite surprised. I'm very surprised at that. But let's get these into water straight away. When you really plan ahead, I have a bucket here with the lid jammed in the centre here. And the idea behind that, that was an insect by the way. I can't bring myself letting things drown for no reason. Uh, I just separate the flowers out from each other so that they're not actually rubbing against each other when I walk along. I think we'll put that one on that side. So where we've got three pretty decent dahlias. Uh, I'll get you one which perhaps looks decent, but it will show you perhaps what is uh, not good. Now here's a flower which is developed and I won't take the side shoot off this one because this one's past its best. If you look at it, it looks pretty good, doesn't it? Looks a good flower, that nice size. And you had three that size and in perfect condition, you'd be in with a good chance. However, turn it over and look at the back and you can see all of these petals here. They're all on there. They're on their way out. I've had it. Uh, and by the way, you can sometimes get away with this if you've got a flower like that and there's one that's got one little petal that's got little holes in it and it's just spoiled look sometimes you can get away with just pulling it out and just just scooping back so you hide it however if you do too many of those uh, you'll find that the whole flower will eventually fall apart and a good judge can see you've done that anyway so that one would be on the reject because you can see it's on its way out mm -hmm. so goodbye flower Right, the next thing we're going to look at is, is obviously the dahlias, which I picked earlier on. This is my favourite category among the flowers. I love doing dahlias. Um, but it's the most frustrating thing in the world because getting three dahlias the same size, same cultivar, um, same sort of colour as well because they can vary in colour. Um, and you end up with a, a range of tones. These are okay. Um, they're, not, they're not brilliant, they're not perfect, but they'll do the job. So I always look for what I consider to be my best flower and make sure it goes at the back end. I'll just place that one down gently first. Put that one at the back. Turn it around. Now the stem on this is not particularly brilliant. There we go. Not too bad. And then we've got another one here. Now I like to 
to have a couple of leaves and things on these things but sometimes you have to take the leaves off just to make it look the business I may end up taking this one off I think I will just strip that leaf off um, you always need to be careful with dahlias they will not last very very long at all once you've actually uh, picked them so keep them as fresh as you possibly can and make sure again that when you put it in there that you do not the flowers to touch each other you really don't want them touching and again do we want that leaf across there the leaf's all right it's not badly damaged so we'll just put that in there and make sure they're not touching turn it round find out the best balance probably need to pull them out a little bit more you can be on for hours doing this when the oasis starts to crumble inside it can cause you all sorts of problems but there we are there's three nice dahlias uh, reasonable size I've got myself a nice earwig in there which I would have to remove because they'll actually eat your, eat your petals during the night or during the day but a nice nice display of three dahlias